Blind Date with Ginger Baker. Ginger Baker reviews the sounds of May 1970. Verbally almost as violent as one of his drum solos, Ginger Baker tore into his Blind Date session with such heat that several of the albums melted into flower bowls, although placing them on the hot hi-fi amplifier might have helped the process. As he listened, Ginger drew strange doodles of bird-like men and only displayed enthusiasm twice for a 1940 Pete Johnson track and the latest popper by Steve Ellis. I must state that I never listen to records and I'll probably get them all wrong anyway. Is it Count Basie, Duke Ellington, Pete Johnson? I'll never get it right anyway. I dig this very much. Yeah, it's nice. I used to play with bands like that once. It's amazing to listen to change in drumming since those days. They just used to play on the hi-hat. Simple, but it swings. But I'm not good at guessing and I'll tell you a story. George Harrison brought the Beatles double album to play to me when we were in Los Angeles. After he had played me about three sides, I said, George, who's this? Another time George and Mick Jagger and me were down at Eric Clapton's place and they played me a Jerry Lee Lewis record. And I asked them, who's the piano player? And I was down the speakeasy the other night and I heard this drum solo going. I asked, who's this? And it was me. Who's that? Sandy Nelson? It was quite a big record once. I know about 500 people who could drum better than that. Rick Gretsch and Eric Clapton could play like that. Did you know what Elvin Jones said about me? He said I had delusions of grandeur. So I have challenged him to a drum battle just for a laugh, friendship and goodwill. A few years ago, back in 1962, what he said would have hurt me. I would have been terribly upset. But I'm not really a musician. I'm an actor. I act playing the drums and get away with it. I just act being a drummer. Drums sneaking around, trying to drive me mad. I've no idea about this one at all. It's English and there are certain influences that I know well, but it doesn't get me leaping about. Pete Johnson is about the only thing happening today. Oh my God, could it be Buddy Miles? Don't understand it at all. Is it a trick? Tony Williams, Jack Bruce, Johnny McLaughlin. Sounds like they heard the cream, doesn't it? It's nice, but I can't hear the tune. Tony Williams is a good drummer, but it's just a play. Jazz, freedom, it's that anti-people music. Very enjoyable to play, but the differences between this and the cream was that we always had a starting and finishing point, something to come back to. This is American, isn't it? It always makes me laugh when people try to sing like that. The rhythm section is dreadful, and it's a pretentious song. They are trying to be something that they are not. I like people to sing and be themselves. This is doomed. I'm not nice to people, am I? Do you give points for trying or what? You hurt my feelings and you make me cry. And that's the kind of thing that gets next to me, yes. Sounds a bit weak. It sounds a bit like Hendrix. It seems a bit unoriginal, as if they're trying to do a soul thing, which seldom comes off. I'm afraid I don't get into many bands. I only want to know about this band called Air Force. I detect the influence of Chuck Berry in the guitar playing, which was quite nice. It's obviously American. How old is that record? Is it Carl Perkins? Well, that's rock and roll. Good sort of party music, and that was a nice guitar solo. But all this back to rock and roll thing is a bit desperate. There's a thousand answers that I don't know. I don't know why or how. Sounds like a lot of kids. They must be very young. I can hear people shouting and telling them to get off the stage and throwing eggs. I can't stand much more of this. I don't really care who it is.
This sounds like Rick Gretsch playing drums and Remy Kabaka playing bass. It sounds like my band playing about at rehearsals. Who's playing the drums? He should be working in a fish and chip shop. Drumsticks on the bass string and people like this get so much airtime. They enjoy themselves, but they don't do much for music. I'm in a lovely mood today, but I can only say what I think. There is no point in being dishonest. These guys haven't changed in a hundred years. They still play in exactly the same old way. How to make friends and influence people. This is nice. I like this. There's movement and some nice brass. I wonder who's playing on the session. Yeah, this is good and cheerful. Well, that should please him anyway. Wait in the water. We used to play this with Graham Bond. Is that a chick singing? Do I know her? The guitar sounds influenced by Clapton. Well, what are you doing now? Yeah, well, they seem to like exaggerating the fact that they can't keep time. Very strange, that's all I can say. Well, that's all. Made me a lot of friends. Sorry if I was full of egotistical dogmatic bull. 